Hi guys, my name is Corey Simmons with Tuts Plus, and I'm here to show you the holy grail of CSS centering. Um, basically, this works in Internet Explorer 8 and up, and uh, on acro across every single browser perfectly. Um, so the way it works, so we inspect element down here. We've got a container that can be any size whatsoever. You can use any units to size this. So uh, just imagine that this is actually like a nav bar or something that like you're trying to center a logo in uh, vertically or uh, horizontally or both. Um, so it can be sized any size you want. We've got a class outer here, an element uh, with the class of outer here, and uh, it has display table on it, which is, this is a pretty common way to vertically center things. Um, we're also stretching it out to 100% height and width, so it takes up the, uh, the width of, and height of this container. Uh, inside of that, we've got a class of inner that has display table cell, um, which allows us to do things like vertical align middle. We're also applying text align center, and this will help us with uh, the, um, the horizontal centering. And the centered element down here has the display inline block, so it'll actually uh, render as a block element, but where it's display inline, it'll pull these, uh, this text align center, it'll, uh, it'll realize that it's trying to center. Um, a block element. And we're applying position relative to it as well, just so that we can um, have the ability to position elements absolutely inside of our centered stuff. So you can put anything inside of this centered element and it'll be centered here. Um, so we've got three elements here. Most of the time you can uh, use uh, two elements with uh, most of the other solutions out there, but there are all kinds of um, problems with all the other solutions out there. Uh, either it messes up with uh, doing position absolute, or uh, it just has horrible browser support. So this works in every single browser. It's three elements, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.